Well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6ES uh, Amateur Radio Channel. Just uh, still fiddling around with the amplifier. I've uh, readjusted it to produce 500 watts output. Uh, just showing you the. It's connected to a dummy load, of course. There you go. It's a bit of, just a bit over 500 watts key down coming out of the amplifier. And what it looks like. Very similar to how it looked before, only the amplitudes are slightly bigger, as you'd expect. And you can see the little sprogs down there. If I'd have, um, if I'd have put it on the uh, on this analyzer when um, it had the uh, the Alpine view waveform uh, coming out of it, very uh, very harmonic rich, the uh, uh, the harmonic spikes would have been uh, really quite sizable. Probably not that much different. But <laughs> Looking at it, probably not that much different from the uh, the amplitude of the carrier. But of course, looking at the power meter, you don't know because you don't know that you know half the power is on another frequency. Here, it's still uh, with 500 watts output. The sprogs are still. Where's the mic? The sprogs are still. I don't know, 45 dB down. So although it wouldn't meet any commercial spec, um, that's still not too bad. The sprogs are only going to be milliwatts. So, um, okay, well, uh, let's just see where the sprogs are. So, hang on, let's just get the tripod set up. I can see me getting a, uh, a professional program on National Geographic or uh, Discovery. What do you reckon? Nah, you're probably right. <laughs> Hang on. Although, uh, if there's anyone out there, of course, that uh, would disagree and think that it would go down quite well. What I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to get the camera on the screen of the analyzer so you can see. Now I'm not going to be able to see the I'm not going to be able to see the camera screen when I do this because I'm going to be down below it working with the gear if you see what I mean. So hopefully this will be okay. Right. I've got a little marker. <coughs> I've got a little marker here. A little diamond going up and down. You can probably see that. And there's the marker frequency there. And it's showing 22.44 megs. So if I key the transmitter. Oops. I'll key the transmitter and then move the marker, then move the marker along like that. Now you can see that showing 20.6 megs. So that's where, or 20.48 megs. See that there? 20.48 megs, the little marker is on top of the sprog. So 20.48 megs, there's the largest of the sprogs I need to worry about. Again, it's you know it's only going to be milliwatts, so I don't know what's on 20.48 megs, but um, I don't think this is going to be giving them a headache. To be perfectly honest, uh, what else we've got here? Uh, keep moving it along. Where's the next one? So the next one is 13.13. 13.13. It's <laughs> interesting, isn't it? 13 twice. Lucky for some. There we go. So that's where the second one is. I might just. Yeah. 13.25. Well, you know roughly where it is anyway. I mean, if I tuned around on a shortwave receiver, I'm sure I'd find it. Okay, so where's the next one? Nine point five seven. Nine point five seven and I'm in heaven. This is Radio Blackout. Okay, so 9.9.57. What else do we have? In the bargain basement. Buy one carrier and get lots of sprogs free. Uh, what do we have here? Close enough. 
Close enough for government work, as they say. 6.02 megs. 6.02, there we go. So, as I said previously, my um, high pass filter, sorry, low pass filter, rolls off at, um, uh, it's about 38 megs, 40 megs. So if you look at this, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. You've got stop frequency 50, start frequency is 1 meg. <coughs> so it rolls off about there. So I'll get rid of this one and any above here, that, that'll be gone. These will go through unimpeded. But we can see that it's, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 dB down, 45 dB, 45 dB down <coughs> on uh, 500 watts. I'll, I'll work it out, but it's, it's only going to be milliwatts. It's, uh, on, on 200 watts, I think it was 12.5 milliwatts, so we're only talking 50 milliwatts probably. On the outside, something like that. So there we go. And uh, I think I said before, but I'll say it again. If I'd looked at the output of the uh, of the linear amplifier when it was showing the Alpine on, on the oscilloscope when it was showing the Alpine view, um, the sprogs would have been far larger because it was very rich in harmonic content. The output very rich in harmonic content. So even though the meter might have shown 500 watts, there might have only been um, 200, uh, 250 on, uh, uh, well there might have only been 200 on 3.6 and there might, have been a, there might have been another 150 <laughs> on 7, you know, and, uh, and the rest on, on 20 metres, who knows. Um, I might, if I can be bothered, put the L-match back in line, get the scope reconnected, get the Alpine waveform back, then connect that to the analyzer and uh, just for fun see what it looks like but it is getting a bit late it's uh, 10 o'clock nearly so that may have to wait for another time regardless I hope you enjoyed that and uh, or found it interesting as always and uh, oh, you might not have been able to see uh, probably um, where was I thanks for watching catch you next time